Welcome back to Erudite Magic. If you are here because you love magic books, you're absolutely in the right place. I am ready to do an unboxing video. We're here in my new space for my magic library, and I got a lot of books that I want to share with you. So I'm pretty excited to show you the books that I have, and this is going to be a bit different than the other videos that I've done. And if you see books that you like, certainly feel free to call them out. In fact, I'd like for you to comment down below and let me know about books that I have that you want to see reviewed. This is just going to be me unboxing them, putting them on shelves. Let's get started. Jack Kent Tiller, Septet, and then What Lies Inside. You've heard me talk about that. You need to get it if you don't have it. A lot of really interesting ideas for the practicing mentalist. Speaking of mentalism, Max Maven's Prism, the color series, revisited. So, used to be unaffordable, and now it's imminently affordable. The Impostress Princess, you saw me post about this. I've kind of been exploring that topic of the Impostress Princess, and so that book is very interesting. Uh, what library would be complete without a little bit of Carl Fool's Self-Working Card Tricks and Self-Working Mental Magic. In spite of the fact that it says self-working, there are some really good tricks in these books. I got my hardback edition of The Amateur Magician's Handbook. Four bucks at a used bookstore. I don't think you can beat that. The Fitzky Trilogy, The Trick Brain, Magic by Misdirection. Showmanship for Magicians is somewhere around here. I'm not sure where it is, so we'll hold a spot for it. The Essential Die Vernon, this is the one that, oh, I mean, look at that. That's a lot of material, a collection of all of the books that he did before, the Inner Card Trilogy, as well as the uh, couple other books, his Book of Magic and all that. So very, I love getting collections. That's one of the things that I love about, oh, not going to fit there. It's one of the things I love about the era that I live in right now is that I can get these books and... I don't have to buy the individual ones, I'm buying the collection, which is great. Chronicles by Fools. We just talked a little bit about that. I'm going to put it down here with the collections. A couple of international books here at this point. Close-Up Illusions by Gary Ouellette. And this one is different because it has the writing going the opposite way of all the other books on the spine. It's a Canadian-French thing, too. Books of Wonder by Tommy Wonder needs no introduction. Beautiful, beautiful theory in those books. Card College, and apparently I do not have the fifth volume. For some reason I thought I did, but I don't. The Complete Al Leach, which if you don't know who Al Leach is, he invented, he invented uh, Red Hot Mama. Great card trick, among others. Cool book by Magic Inc. Al Schneider's Magic, he invented um, the Matrix coin trick, and it's been ripped off a number of times. I gotta be honest and say I haven't put the time into this book that I should. It's got a lot of theory, a lot of good tricks, mostly coin magic, but good stuff. I just need to put some more time in the saddle with it. Mind, Myth, and Magic by T.A. Waters. Great mentalism book. Probably gonna need to make some room here. Oh yeah. Card Control by Arthur Buckley. I bought this book for one reason. I saw David Williamson refer to this, refer to a few things in here from an Instagram session that he was doing. And some interesting ideas in here, and I wrote a few down that I want to pursue further. Mnemonica. Of course, friends need to be together. I need to make sure that Simon Aronson is with his friend Juan Tamariz. Another one done! Going down a couple of favorites. I haven't seen these books in a little while. Paramiracles by Ted Leslie. One of the most beautiful books on mentalism. One of my favorites. I will review this one eventually. Just completely out of print. And to think that someone's life work at one point went for $35, I could get his entire life's work. It just seems like a steal, especially compared to today's values. Speaking of life work for not a lot of money, The Artful Mentalism of Bob Cassidy, number one. This book changed it all for me in terms of mentalism. I was performing mentalism, then I bought this book, and I realized some of the miracles that were absolutely possible with just a few 
basic slides and some presentation. This book is wonderful. If you can get your hands on it, I highly recommend it. My Jerry Menser collection. I bought these from someone who was liquidating part of their library. These were all autographed to someone by Jerry Menser. Jerry Menser is an interesting character because we actually um, both lived in Ohio and Greenville, South Carolina. I never met him before he passed, but he did live in Greenville, South Carolina, so I always feel like there's kind of a special connection there. More of the Menser collection. And then some Harry Lorraine. Again, going back to the idea of love, uh, revisiting books that have been repackaged, Classic Collection 1 and 2. Some great books. Taught me a lot of impromptu, shuffle deck in use magic, especially when I did a lot more card magic. My Way to Mentalism by Tony Benarelli. To be honest with you, I haven't put the time into that one that I need to. I got it on a sale, or I think it was added to my cart for $5 with Vanishing Ink. Bruce Bernstein's Unreal. Some fantastic ideas in here. Not sure that they're all practical. I know I'm gonna get shot down for saying that. Um, some of them are very practical and then others, not so much, uh, but a great book nevertheless. You know I've got False Anchors by Ryan Schlutz. We've talked about that one. If you saw recently, I posted a picture of me with Repertoire. Fantastic book by Ozzy Wind. I've learned so much from this book and I love the, the fact that he illustrated it himself with the watercolors. Handsome Jack, etc. I was fortunate enough to get a copy of this right before it went out of print. And it's a great book. I even perform one of the effects from this book in my show. David Regal, Approaching Magic and Interpreting Magic. Some great books, and I will be sure to put these with the other David Regals. Otherwise, the universe will be out of balance. Tarbell. Everybody knows that I have Tarbell. I know and love Tarbell. Expert Coin Magic. <laughs> the New Modern Coin Magic, not Expert Coin Magic. And Our Magic by Masculine and Devant. More Tony Binarelli class act by Gary Ouellette. Put that with the other one. Peak performances by Richard Bush. Terrible color scheme. The writing is a little hard to follow, but there's some really good tricks in this book, especially if you're a mentalist. Solomon's Mind by David Solomon. Some more Chicago style card magic. A pair of books by David Acer. Uh, Natural Selections and Random Acts of Magic. I have been through uh, Natural Selections. I have not been to random acts of magic quite as much. Back to some Larry Becker. I actually got this at Magic Inc. when I visited. It's the best of Larry Becker's World of Supermentalism. It's the book two. Oh man, I have not seen this book in seven months. One Degree by John Guastafaro. Before Principia came out, I believe this was the best-selling book Vanishing Inc. had ever published. And it is deservedly so. There's a lot of really great card magic from the fertile mind of John Guastafaro. Brent Bronze, Plots, Ploys, and Other Cons. Some interesting stuff in here. I have been through it, but only briefly. I need to revisit it. Card Dodgery by J.K. Hartman. At the time, this was one of the books that I got where I said there was one trick that was worth the price of the book, and that was the Grail. Holy Grail. Apologize for that. Page 270 if you have the book. Great trick. Luke Germay's 3510. A lot of typos, but some good thoughts. Card Devilry by J.K. Hartman. Got to put the J.K. Hartmans together. He's always got some great magic. David Acer's Natural Selections, Volume 2. The Dave Campbell Legacy. The Dave Campbell Legacy. I actually bought this book in London. It was kind of neat. I went to the International Magic Shop there, and I said, what can I buy here that I can't get back in the United States? And they, they gave me this, the Dave Campbell Legacy. So it's, um, it's unique because I got it while I was overseas. Everybody's got to go back and get some books by Daryl. For Your Entertainment Pleasure and Secrets of a Puerto Rican Gambler. Some great magic there. Now put out by Vanishing Inc. Republished, I should say. Nukes by Doug Edwards. I was familiar with Doug Edwards' Pax of Wallop from, from uh, Harry Lorraine, but I wasn't familiar with Nukes. I got through it a little bit. Nothing caught my eye. That was fantastic, but I'm sure it has some good magic. Texas Hold'em Magic by Tom Frame and put out by Vanishing Inc. I picked it up on a sale and went through a few tricks that were interesting to me from the perspective of Texas Hold'em, but I don't do a whole lot of gambling magic. Al Coran's Professional Presentations. This is a great book and has a lot of really what we call now classic mentalism. Germain the Wizard and His Ledger Domain by Stuart Kramer. Now, I've heard varying things. Drop me a note if you know about this book. I've heard that it's valuable. Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Um, I picked it up from an estate as well, the same one where I got the 
Matt Schillian book. Miracles of My Friends, number two by Burton Sperber. There's a, there's a trick basically I bought this for, um, which was published by Ed Carlisle later, but it's a great book full of mentalism. Nail Writer Anthology by Thomas Baxter. Pretty neat book for all things nail writer related. And then the Vernon Chronicles, book one and two. I know book two is wrapped, but at one point I had a different copy. I got rid of it. I repurchased it. So I have gone through this, but not this particular copy. Witch Hand by uh, Timon Krauss. Very interesting on the Witch Hand plot and methodology. I need to put more practice into it, basically. Harry Lorraine Classic Collection 3 and 4. You know where you're going. And the Best of Friends Volume 1. Minimalistic Metaphysical Metalism. Whoa, say that five times fast. By Scott Creasy. 13 Steps to Mentalism and the Artful Mentalism of Bob Cassidy 2. Didn't love the design choices, said so on the cafe. This is glossy paper. It's heavy. Uh, it's hard to read. But it has some fantastic mentalism, so... What can I say? Bairn by Ken Dine. Good book. Got that when he came to lecture in Greenville and bought it straight from him. Got it autographed. Expert at the card table, the original version, non-graphic. So funny story about Focus. I had a beautiful copy, brand new, I think, and I paid $25 for it on the used market. I sold it because at the time I wasn't going to do packet tricks anymore, and I kind of learned my lesson, don't sell. 